Hey everyone, Adam Wormsley here from Autodesk. I'm going to create a quick video today to walk you through how we can start to use object data tables inside of Dynamo with Civil 3D. So I recently did uh, a little screenshot and, and put it on LinkedIn and I had a lot of people message me uh, privately to understand a bit more about this script. So I'm just going to recreate it for you uh, and explain the process as I go through it. So uh, before you start, you're going to need to have the uh, Civil 3D Toolkit, which is a custom node package. Uh, you can get it from here where you search for a package that's been created by Paolo from Autodesk. Uh, and it's an awesome toolkit. I highly recommend uh, getting it for any uh, Dynamo Civil 3D stuff that you might want to do. So uh, let's just get into it. So the first thing we want to do is uh, create the uh, fields that we want to work with inside of um, the object data table. So uh, if we go to OD field uh, create, <clears throat> we need a name. In this case, I'm using two names here, alignment length and perimeter. We'll plug that into there. We need a data type. We have some options here. We can use uh, any of the following in the dropdown. We're just gonna keep it to character. And then we need to put a description in as a string. So I'm just gonna call this uh, test description, just for, this, uh, just for this workflow. Plug that into there. And then we need to define the object table uh, and add that table itself. So if we go object table add table here, we need to uh, bring in the name of a table. So I'll just create another uh, code block here and call this test table as an example. Uh, we need to plug the fields in that we've created. We need to give it a description, we'll use this description, and then we need to specify whether we want it to be an X data record or not. We could just leave that as false. <coughs> The third step in the process is we need to actually create the object data record from the Civil 3D objects. So if we say object data record create, we need to specify the table that we've created, which is here, and then we need to specify the object that we are selecting. So we go all the way back here to select objects and plug that in like that. And then we need to set the values. So set value by name and I'm going to have two of these because we're using ones for perimeter the other ones for alignment length object data record goes here and here the name we want alignment length in there we want perimeter in uh, this name here and then we need to set our values so in this case we're just going to do some simple calculations not even a calculation we're just going to get the length of the curves that we sketch here um, and let that drive the, the geometry uh, in the drive the data sorry into this node <clears throat> so what we'll do is just uh, sketch a real basic line just to show you if I go over here to select objects select that press enter come back over to my script. We don't really care about perimeter, so I'm just gonna freeze that node off for now uh, because there is no, I guess, perimeter of the line. And then if we hit run, that will do its thing, minimize Dynamo. Now, if I select that line, you can see here that we have our object data table that's been created called test table, and that alignment length is here, 198.315, which matches the length of that curve there. Uh, we can do this again with a different shape. So let's just delete this um, and I'll draw a couple of rectangles now. So this could be parcels, for example. <clears throat> Copy that across and let's just uh, change the size of this a little bit and just to, to show you how that, that would look. We're going to come back here, select those two objects, press enter. Uh, and now we are we do want to we do want to use this perimeter value, but we don't really care about the alignment length, so I'll freeze that off. <clears throat> now if I hit run, it's gone and done its thing. Come back to this uh, rectangle here, and you can see we've got a perimeter here of 321, which matches the length. Uh, same thing here as well. Using Dynamo, you can get super creative. Uh, you could you know sort of add any values or use Dynamo to calculate any sorts of values that you want here um, to, to, to put into your object data tables, which can then be exported out, or your DWG can then be exported out as 
uh, a shapefile to go to your GIS team. So I hope that uh, has cleared up that workflow. If you've got any questions, please feel free to reach out to me. Bye.